The algorithm does not hate you. It hates your content. And honestly, so does everyone else. A boring, dark, stiff video, that kind of content does not get watched. It's actually what we swipe away from as quickly as we possibly can. On average, you have about two seconds to pique someone's interest. Hi. This is Tammy from Oolong Salon and Spa. And today we're going, today we have already swiped away from you, Tammy. We're out. You need a better script. You need quicker pace. You need to capture people's attention on platforms where honestly, attention is the currency. You need to make your videos look amazing to scrollers. But before I can show you how to do that, first, let's make sure that what you're filming is worth editing in the first place. Hi, so a lot of you are doing this. You're recording with your front camera. That's already a no for me. No lighting, no microphone, just vibes. Just you and the audio in the room. I'll be honest with you. If you are doing this in your spot, in your salon, at your treatment bed, in your office, it's gonna look worse than it looks right now. It's gonna sound worse than it looks right now because I am in a recording studio. So I'm optimized already for some of these things. And as bad as it sounds and looks right now, it's gonna be worse in your environment. So your video is already tanking. We're already scrolling. It's not visually pleasing. It doesn't look or sound good. And there's not gonna be a whole lot of good footage to edit. Let's kick it up a notch. Let's look at two things that are gonna change your actual video game before we get into all the other editing stuff. Use the back camera. Use the back camera. This looks so much better than the front already, just using the back camera. I know, Victoria, now I can't see myself. You like to stare at yourself. A little conceited. No, I'm kidding. I know, it's great to be able to make sure that you are in frame, especially if you're nervous. There's nothing worse than doing an entire video and then going back to look at it on your phone and realizing, I was halfway out of frame the whole time. I know. I know. Grab another phone from reception maybe, or grab an iPad or a computer. Download this app. It's called A Power Mirror, all one word, A Power Mirror. And if you don't have the ability to airplay from your phone to another device, for whatever reason, older iPhone, not an iPhone, doesn't matter, use something like A Power Mirror, which will screen mirror your entire screen <laughs> onto another device. I actually see myself on several different monitors. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars getting the perfect light, the perfect monitors. You can do it with whatever you have right now. You can actually airplay yourself, which is screen mirroring for Apple users, airplay yourself onto a TV. Did you know that? On an Amazon TV, you can Amazon your, you can, you can mirror yourself, screen mirror yourself. So I could watch myself on a gigantic TV if I wanted to. So this is really easy. I actually just search for myself. Once I find it, I click it and then I hit, uh, start broadcast and then we can get to work. Okay, pickles. So you can see that I can see myself, even though I'm recording with the back camera, I can see myself in the monitor, which I would typically have off to the side and the camera is usually kind of over, over here somewhere. Um, I have my grid up because according to the rule of threes, anytime you are in position of camera, you either want to be dead center in, uh, in this grid, or you want your eyes to intersect with this grid or this grid so that you're on one third of the screen. If it's you and someone else, ideally I would be in this quadrant where I am now and someone else would be in this quadrant where the microphone is. Got it? This, honestly, this technology is so simple. Whether you're gonna airplay from one thing to another and screen share, or if you're going to use a power mirror, which is the app that I'm currently using just to show you how it actually looks and you're gonna love it too. Lighting, let's kick it up a notch. I'm serious. We do not want to squint to see you, okay? And you don't wanna to squint to see me either. Plus there's something about a nice ambiance. It's not an overhead light, right? You can get really super nerdy with this. You can focus on camera lenses and apertures and focuses and what does or doesn't work in your studio. I know people who spend tens of thousands of dollars on this crap. You do not have to do that. You can make this as simple as you'd like. You can keep, let's keep it really simple. You can use what you probably already own, which is what I'm using right now. I am using a ring light. This is super easy. Most of them already have a phone holder right in the center. If you want center on camera lighting, I have mine kind of off to the side. I have a dozen of these throughout my salon. Mine is a newer 18 inch. That's the brand name, newer. You can get it on Amazon. Secondly, you can make this even easier if you want to. You can grab one of these bad boys. I got this uh, clip on rechargeable light also from Amazon. Ooh. And I can adjust the brightness. 
so I can make it different. The warmth, the coolness, how bright it's gonna be. I can tone it down a little bit if I want to. And actually it just clips right onto my phone. See what a big difference that makes already? Having this or not having this? Ooh. Rembrandt lighting, not Rembrandt lighting. I am actually traveling to Bali next week, probably the week that you see this video. And this thing, this is coming with me to the beach. Okay, now we gotta talk about audio quality because there is nothing worse than sounding like you've been muffled and stuffed into the back of a trunk and are still trying to make content. I need you to hear me when I say this, which is why I'm using a microphone. You need a microphone. No one can hear you. There's nothing worse than filming an entire video, by the way, and then finding out that your mic wasn't on. I've done that more than once. Maybe your background's super noisy. Maybe you want a wider angle, so you and you have to get further away from the camera, which means no one can hear you. Maybe there's two people gonna be involved, which means that you have to be either really close together to fit in the camera, or you need a little bit more space, but now you're too far away, and the camera's internal microphone can't pick up any of the audio. I have a solution for you. You do not have to get a big recording mic like this for $150, $200, whatever it is. These lav mics, okay, this is the part that goes inside your phone, and this is the part that clips onto your shirt, and you can just talk right into it. These are actually pretty common. I think mine was like $25. It came with two clip-on mics, and I can grab audio for myself or from anyone if I'm interviewing someone. Life is super simple with this. You don't have to get a big fancy mic, I promise. And you can record this straight to the video because it plugs right into your phone, anything that you're recording. I don't have to try and match the audio with the video later on. A real content hack is using the Captions app. I swear it is worth every penny. But if you don't wanna spend any pennies, that's okay because there's a free version too. It allows me to let AI do all of the editing. So I can remove all of the um, uh, like, like, like um. um. I can get that all taken out. And it also makes my videos more visually interesting because it includes B-roll for me. If you don't know what B-roll is, it's those clips that demonstrate things that you're talking about but aren't necessarily crucial necessary, right? So I'll, I'll be sure that when I edit this, I throw in some. So for an example, let's say if I were talking about how creating content is kind of like driving a car, a Honda could get you from A to B, but a Ferrari, all the things I mentioned in this video, will get you there looking cool. And so the B-roll for that would be someone in a Honda looking really sad, as I said that, and then someone in a Ferrari looking really cool as I said that. So rather than try to shoot this footage yourself, which means going out in the world and finding someone with a Ferrari, for every single video, every time you needed B-roll, you would have to go out and shoot it yourself with your camera and a crew and the whole thing. Instead of doing all that or subscribing to something like Clip Hub where you can pay per clip, just let AI find it for you and it'll splice it in at the perfect timing while cutting up the video. So it takes hours and hours of editing off your plate while amplifying your content. Of course, the original thing that Captions app was created for absolutely still stands, automatically captioning your videos. Plus, you can have it set to automatically use your brand colors so that and your brand fonts so that your content always connects across every platform. It always looks like you, it sounds like you, it feels like you, and you don't have to do any extra work. That's amazing. I love to do less work. So when we put all this together, we can make content creation simple and easy and video without having to edit for hours, do cuts and filler words and looking for B-roll. And instead we can actually just stand in front of the camera, confident that we've got the shot, we've got the audio, the lighting looks good. And then we can let AI do kind of the rest of the content for us. Having the best and most interesting content is definitely going to help get more eyes on your profile, at least, definitely on your services or products, whatever you're shooting content for. But it will be for absolutely nothing if you can't get those views to convert into actual clients or customers. But don't worry because upscaling your content is half the formula. The other half the formula is gonna be in this video right here. I will get you to the finish line. So go and watch that next and I'll see you there.